YouTube because this is going to be my first YouTube video. But, but I just think it's so important. Like, I really thought about doing this for so long. I'm going to say this to, because I was one of the girls that was looking, looking for the answers and I couldn't find them. This first video is going to be about what you need to bring in your hospital bag okay because this was one of the number one things that i was looking for because i was confused i'm like do i gotta bring two three days of clothes do i gotta bring this do i gotta bring that so without further ado let me hop into the answers baby i'm giving y'all the real tea y'all better write this down y'all better listen y'all better pay attention take notes like this is no joke for all the new moms, please listen. Okay, let's, let's get into it. Okay. The first thing you want to do with your hospital bag is get a damn hospital bag. You want to get like a duffel bag, something that'll fit all your stuff in it that I'm about to name. Like a big bag. It ain't got to be you no know, big, gigantic suitcase, but it needs to be like a duffel bag i'm also going to insert pictures and so y'all can just get a good look all the most everything you can find is on amazon too so if y'all confused on where to go go to amazon go to walmart go to ross um tj maxx anything any type of store it doesn't matter as long as you sell clothes shoes bags baby stuff the second thing you need that you should already know that you need is toothbrush and toothpaste. Okay. That's important because when you in that bed, you can't get up laying in the bed for who knows how long. Um, I, I was in the bed for a whole entire day. I was in labor for a day, 24 hours. Get out there. You can't get out of the bed. The only time you get out of the bed is to pee. And really, if you go through what I went through when I tell my story, you gonna have a catheter. So they ain't even gonna let you get out of the bed. They're not gonna let you get out of the bed, period. So the next thing that I forgot to bring to my thing was Vaseline. Vaseline is the number one thing. Like Vaseline lotion, Vaseline for your face, Vaseline for your lips baby i was so crusty in there i never nobody on youtube said bring some lotion bring some vaseline da, 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 da. i'm just like i'm lost i'm lost i knew to bring lotion i bring lotion but i didn't bring nothing for my lips and y'all let me let me tell you another tip well a thing that you gonna have to expect when you go in the hospital you don't get to eat nothing until you get that baby out, you don't eat nothing. You just drink water or you chew on ice. You can't do nothing else, like nothing. So your mouth gonna be so dry. Your mouth gonna be so dry that if you don't have no Vaseline, no Carmex, no none of that, you gonna be in a world full of trouble, like for real. So next is lotion. You can get any type of lotion you want, as long as it's some unscented lotion. I prefer unscented lotion because you can't put scented lotion on your face. Like even if you got good skin, don't do that because it's just it's just not a good thing. That's how breakouts come and all types of stuff. So I prefer like a cocoa butter or um yeah, I prefer cocoa but cocoa butter. Um bring a water bottle. This is just for the woman right here this part this is just for you like the person who's giving birth this is just for you if you don't bring a water bottle they're gonna give you a hospital cup so it doesn't matter you really don't have to bring a water bottle but you can so but another big thing that that y'all need to know i'm gonna give another tip please when you go into labor don't get no long braids don't get no weave don't get no hair. I mean, not, nothing that's touching your back. Like, please don't get something like a bun. Like, don't have nothing in the back of your head. It needs to be up because you're going to be laying down. Like, 
And if you got a bun on the back of your head, you gonna be stiff. Like your neck gonna be stiff. If you can't lay down, you gonna have to lay on your side. It was just too much. You need a bed fan because it's gonna be so hot while you pushing. A attachable bed fan. I'm gonna insert it. I'm gonna insert everything so y'all can know. Next, you're gonna need a robe and house shoes. Um, you can get a dress thing too, but just wear something loose. Like you don't get no booty shorts, don't get no crop top. Maybe get some grandma and granddaddy gowns and get a gown. Get a gown. I got a robe because I just couldn't do something on me all day. I was gonna have to take it off. I need a robe that I can just easily like take off because you just you just get hot out of nowhere. You gonna be crazy you need the padded underwear i really prefer the diaper pads like the diaper pads for the ladies i'm gonna show i'm gonna show y'all what the hospital give y'all because the hospital give y'all they actually send y'all home with um toothbrush toothpaste they send you home with lotion they send you home with pads and so most of them i'm gonna name down the line this is what I got from the hospital. These are the pads they give you, and I don't like them. I don't like them at all. These is the pads. Like, they don't got no wings on it. They don't got jacks. This is what they, this is the exact thing I got out of the hospital. That's it. They just go straight in your panties, but no. Um. That's what they give you, and then they give you um, some diapers, but I don't like they diapers things because it just, it don't do right. And it was too small for me. I don't know why, but it was just way too small. I couldn't put it on right. This is the diaper thing. I kept all this because it was just a just in case, like, extra stuff. And also, they seem these drawers so if you didn't have drawers these drawers was actually good like they was they you can throw these away actually like or you could wash them and re-put them on but you you can undo them right there in the middle oh wait you know the fuck you can't um these drawers i actually wore the hospital drawers because the drawers that i had bought was too tight so i have put on the hospital drawers Get loose clothing you don't get no dress don't get no dress i don't care what the weather is put on some jogging pants or some sweatpants something that is loose like loose clothing you can move around in a big t-shirt anything loose when i gave birth it was cold outside so i had on a big jacket some sweatpants and some fur socks whatever Please get a squeeze bottle because after you give birth, you cannot wipe in there. You cannot wipe in the inside. You have to use that squeeze bottle. You got to squeeze after you pee or poop. And you're going to have to use these witch hazel. Um, they're called witch hazel wipes, pads, whatever. They're witch hazel pads. And um, you, just, you just wipe with those. Mm -hmm. But you, they don't. Say, they tell you not to wipe. Um, they tell you to pat. But I don't know because I got cut. They cut me. I didn't even tear. They cut me because the way my baby head was coming out, it would have tore my clitoris or something like that. They were saying. So they just cut it on the side. So I had got stitches. I don't know if you just push the baby out and you don't tear or what. But I'm just telling you from a person that t um got cut point of view please next you're gonna need some socks and i mean some thick socks because that hospital is cold but you do get hot i don't know where i don't know why but you do get hot next you of course you're gonna need soap get your type of soap that you use to bathe with at home i really prefer unscented soap like non-scented i use dove um sensitive skin so please 
use that if you a um, first time mom. Just use everything I'm saying if you a first time mom. Then bring a towel. Um, do not bring no rag. You can bring a loafer, but if you, you can bring a rag to wash your butt, but um, you can't use a rag for that. So I prefer a loafer. So when you do get in the shower after you give birth, um, you can use that loafer and yeah it's gonna do the job it's gonna do the job next i'm gonna say bring deodorant bring some deodorant yeah you definitely bring some deodorant um and bring some lip gloss or carmex that's all you need in your bag for the person that's pushing regular little stuff like i say you can bring two three gowns if you take a shower bring two three gowns you can bring underwear even though they give you underwear in the um hospital but i really prefer that y'all get those diapers i really prefer because that blood is it's, it's constantly coming out it's really coming out so if you even if you do get underwear and you know you're gonna throw them away it's like it's a waste of money like just get please I'm telling y'all, please, please just listen. Please get those underwear. I mean, those diaper. Get those diaper um underwear. I'm definitely gonna put them in here. Diaper underwears. That's the best thing that ever happened to the world, like for real. This is gonna be the baby bag. What you gotta pack for your baby bag? Of course, we are gonna start off with that. You need a baby bag in the first place. So of course you need a baby bag usually have like pockets for um bottles and stuff that yeah it's easy to find them in walmart and they be like 10 to 15 dollars but if you want a fancy one you can order it off amazon but they all work the same so yeah but the biggest thing that people mess so with with the baby's baby bag is that you pack so much stuff but you don't need all that stuff. Like, literally, you do not need all that stuff. They give you most of this stuff. They even send you home with bottles and nipples. Like, they give you these. They give you most of all this stuff. They give you so, so much of it that it's like, please take all of it. Take everything that they give you. So, yeah. But you really need to only pack one bottle when um for the baby bag. And you need to have a receiving blanket for the baby bag. You can you, you can get two receiving blankets. Yeah, bring two receiving blankets. Um, definitely get a hat for your baby. If you don't want him wearing the hospital hat, um, get a hat and get a onesie for your baby. Cause majority of the time they're gonna be wrapped up. So it don't type. It don't matter what type of onesie it is. Just get a onesie. Because the baby is definitely going to be wrapped up. Get a receiving blanket. Yeah, I already said that. Um, get this swaddle blanket too. Because a swaddle is way better than a receiving blanket. Because they just bust out the receiving blanket. They just bust out of it. Like I don't know why. But my baby was not staying in his swaddle. So when I got that swaddle blanket. He was staying in it. So get the swaddle blanket next um they give you formula while you're at the hospital but if you want to breastfeed um that's so much better in the birth classes and stuff and they was teaching me about the benefits of breastfeeding it's so important like it's so important it does a lot for your body it makes your body go right back natural and all that breastfeed if you want to just drink a lot of water when you're breastfeeding you gotta eat healthy, don't drink, don't drink no alcohol um, because it goes straight to your breast milk. So if you do drink alcohol, you're gonna have to wait an hour and then breastfeed after that. So yeah, but they give you formula. You can, if you're already a mom and you know what type of formula you wanna use for your baby, then just use the same formula. You can bring three diapers, even though they give you diapers, at the hospital they give you hella diapers they give you all this stuff they give you wipes they give you diapers they give you an outfit to put your baby in 
they give you a hat for your baby they give you all this stuff but if you don't want them using that you can bring this stuff like you're gonna need to bring it anyway because when you leave they're gonna have to put some real clothes on some real stuff on so baby's going home clothes you're gonna need a onesie you're gonna need some pants and you're gonna need a hat and mittens mittens are important because the babies be scratching they be pulling their hair they do all types of stuff they scratch themselves um if the baby cry a lot and the baby like pacifiers you can put a pacifier in your bag um you're gonna need wipes in your bag of course baby wipes baby seat for the car to put your baby in yeah, definitely get a baby seat because you can't leave the hospital and they watch you. Matter of fact, they walk you out there and they watch you. They have to see you put that baby seat in, baby seat in, make sure the baby is fine in the car seat before they let you go. So get the correct car seat or a newborn. Don't get no booster seat. Don't get no stupid seat. If you don't, I'm going to insert a picture of what a newborn car seat would look like. Socks and a blanket. Get your baby some socks. He cannot fit no shoes at that young age unless you put him on the little booties. He can't fit no, um, well, they can fit shoes, but I don't prefer shoes for the newborn because they just grow out of them. So I just put like booties on, on my baby. Please get a thick blanket. Now don't, don't use your receiving blanket for when you going home. Get a thick blanket. Get a baby blanket that got fur in it. I'm trying to see, do I got one in here? No, I don't got one in here, but. Get a thick blanket for for your baby when you leave. So yeah, that's what's gonna be in your hospital bag. Okay, okay. So another tip I'm gonna give y'all before I go because I gave y'all my own um, things that you're supposed to put in your hospital bag. Another tip is when they give you these things like they gave they gave me this. I don't know why. I, well, I had two of them because my boyfriend was there. So yeah. But they give you all these books. They give you books. They give you um. What else they give you? They just give you a lot of stuff. The majority of the major things that you need when you first have a baby, they give it to you. And I really, really push, I want to push everybody to read those books because especially if you're a first-time mother, even if you're not a first-time mother, to still read them. But if you're a first-time mom and they hand you these books and they tell you, what the baby's supposed to be doing and what how they supposed to be reacting or what's the trouble signs to look for or what's to um what's the good signs what they supposed to be doing at three months four months please read these books because if not you would just be lost like even though you can call your mom and ask them what's going on da, 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 just read these books so you can know for yourself and yeah because I read those books and they really stick, they stuck in my brain because when you have a kid, you want to know everything, what the hell going on. And every little thing you know is going to be like, why, why he doing that? Why she doing that? Like, why she reacting like that? So, when you can't get in touch with mommy and daddy all the time, you're going to need to refer back to these books and go off what the doctor told you. Even if you think it's wrong. I just say read the books, listen to the doctor, ask questions, and most importantly, listen. Like, you have to listen, you have to read thoroughly when you're a mom. You have to read. <laughs> like, I know people skip, skip through, scam through the little books. No, read the whole thing, read thoroughly, and understand. So, yeah. Especially the breastfeeding part if you want to breastfeed because you really have to eat healthy. You got to keep your body up. If you're breastfeeding and you drink no water, sweetheart, I feel bad for you because all the nutrients going to be going out your body and you're going to have no energy. So, yeah.
thank y'all for watching this is my first youtube video and i hope that um god bless y'all so y'all can have a safe delivery a safe afterbirth and a safe time with your child i hope your child be healthy when he come out he or she come out i hope that god blesses your whole family and yeah so my next video i'm gonna do another video about this on this type of topic because i want to help everyone i want to help all the people that need the help because i'm gonna get out of real on the uncut so yeah just like comment subscribe and share my video to help other people okay thank you bye